Hi there, my name is Vincent from Echo, and today I'd like to walk you through how we can build a searchable database on Echo. And to build a searchable database, you should first connect to your data source with Echo. And for demo purpose, let's try MySQL. And here, uh, you should just uh, verify the connection by inserting the necessary fields, and also make sure that you whitelist the IP address here. Right. So I have already created a uh, MySQL database here called uh, Production DB. And the next thing to do is to import one of the tables um, from the MySQL database to a project. So I have here a product called test with the MySQL table imported called real-time news already. And here you can see this is a quite a sizable table that contains 1.6 million rows. And uh, these are essentially uh, stock news by tickers. So what the product table does here is that you can use it as a transformation workspace. So you can apply uh, a number of data manipulations and uh, uh, actions on top of your table so you can get to the desirable table. So if you're uh, very familiar with SQL, you can even write SQL query. So this way you can model the table and uh, this will be real time updated as well uh, based on your data sources from MySQL. So once you have a desirable table ready, the next thing to do is to build a searchable database for this. So what you do is you have to uh, business app, and this is where you can turn data into applications. So let's use a spreadsheet app for the searchable database. And let's import the table we have just created called real-time news. And let's select an index column. So what the index column does is that is a unique uh, identifiers for sorting and indexing your data rows. So let's use uh, ID as an indexing column and just import it. So as you can see, even though the table is quite big, it's 1.6 million rows, uh, you can essentially turn it into a spreadsheet rather quickly. And here you can do some final touch-ups on your table by changing, for example, the column names, or you can change even the, the cell value. So once you have built, you can even add columns to your spreadsheet so that uh, you will essentially, you'll be able to control the information your audiences or teammates can see. And once you have your table ready for publishing, that's how to publish. And here you can choose to uh, essentially control some of the accesses for, uh, for uh, data process processing. So you can choose whether or not you allow them to use filter or source or hide columns. So let's just uh, enable two right there and hit publish. And after you hit publish, a link will be generated and you can copy it and just use it to open a new browser tab. And boom, you have a searchable database for your teammates. Um, and your teammates can uh, either filter or source uh, this particular table. So let's try filter. Ticker is, let's try Tesla. So even though that was like a very large table, it would just take a few seconds uh, for the audience to essentially retrieve all necessary no, all necessary information related to Tesla in this particular case. And that concludes how you can build a searchable database on Echo. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out, and I hope this is helpful.